Welcome to Havalama, my name is Uli, and I thought it'd be cool to do a painting of my dogs in acrylic. I've had my dogs for over 13 years. I've been wanting to do this painting for a really, really long time. I think I started this process like two years ago, and then because of school and work, I just never got around to it. But I'm finally doing it. Unfortunately, one of my dogs has passed away recently, like earlier this year. Yeah, I want to make this a little special, and yeah, let's see how it turns out. So I haven't played around with acrylics in a really long time. Instead of jumping into the final painting, I thought I'd do this warm up painting of Twitchy to see what kind of problems I would run into. I learned that I should have a solid drawing before I start painting. Like for this painting, I had a base drawing, but I ended up painting the eye too big, which messed up the rest of the proportion. So I think having a more detailed drawing could probably help me avoid that. I don't want this painting to look like a photo, but I do want it to be accurate. So let's see how it turns out. Alrighty, now that we finished the sketch, let's move on to the real one. Okay, so now that the canvases are prepped with gesso, I thought I'd show you how I prepped for these paintings. So I'm a big fan of Jen's art on Instagram, and I really wanted these portraits to feel like her paintings. You know, a perfect balance of rendered and loose. So that's the quality that I'm going for for these. Wish me luck. So I started off by bringing in a photo of Sophie and Twitchy from 2018 into Photoshop so that I can finalize my reference. The real life canvas is 20 by 16 inches, so I made this Photoshop file the same dimensions. I started with Twitchy and began editing the photos so that it looks as close to the final product as possible. I have this really nice oil brush in Photoshop and painted on top of the photo to simplify some of the information. Once I liked how it was looking, I made a grid using Photoshop's ruler tool. I learned this technique of drawing back in high school when I would draw a whole bunch of realistic kind of work. I would later use this reference with the grid to get me more precise proportions way faster on the actual canvas. I repeated the same steps for Sophie and now I can get to drawing. Now with these drawings done, let's start painting. So right now I'm actually using really tiny brushes because it gives me a bit more control where I want a bit more detail. Once I get to the larger areas, I'll be using a bigger brush to get that more painterly look. Let's continue. Okay, so when I was painting the eyes and around this area, I was saying to myself like, hey, this is like pretty good. But then when I got to this part, I'm like, oof, it's it's not working. There's too many hard edges. It's, it's just not feeling right. But I'm gonna power through and hope for the best. The rest of the painting was pretty straightforward. I basically just looked at the photo reference on my phone and tried to replicate that on the painting. Okay, so it was at this point where I realized that it was not working acrylic. It just does not look like oils. And I know that Gen Art uses 
oils and I'm over here using acrylic and it's just not working. And I remembered that I had some really old oils, some like cheap oils that I never used and I thought it was worth a shot painting on top of their acrylic and hopefully get that smooth transition between colors. And that's basically what I did for the rest of the painting. So now that I finished Twitch's painting, I'm gonna move on to Sophie's. I can feel my body You're cold against the concrete But I can't seem to get enough My mind is fixed on what it wants I just let you beat me Looks can be deceiving Let you get the best of me In bed with my worst enemy This is a no pro I just can take cold This is a danger zone Back up and get me home This is a no pro I just can take cold This is a danger zone Back up and get me do you like it? Do you like it? I think she hates it. Anyways, now that I did a pass with acrylics, I'm gonna go ahead and refine it a bit with some oils on top and hopefully fix some of the jinkiness that's happening in the face. Not Sophie, it's you. Well, almost. This is what I ended up with, you know, they're not perfect, but I had fun. I'm happy I spent some time working on these because I've been wanting to do this for a while and now I can finally put them on my wall somewhere. Anyways, I plan to make more videos, uh, so please consider subscribing. It would be awesome if you could like the video and I'll catch you next time.